Welcome back, folks. In this video, we're going to continue our exploration of our different types of table derivation. Specifically, in this one, we're going to look at the values derivation pointed at a column in a physical table of the data model. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm here in table derivation.xlsx, and I'm in the derive values tab because we're going to use the values function, right? Before we looked at just using a physical table where we just asked for a table by name, and that was pretty useful. Here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the values function, which is again, a respectful filter. So it will pay attention to what filters are in the filter context, but rather than giving us um, all the columns of the table, it will just give us the distinct columns, uh, distinct values of a single column, whichever column it is we pointed at, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, get started, shall we? So uh, we're gonna start by revising the filters to add a filter for shift equals lunch. So go ahead and select those cells right there. And we're gonna drag this up here. I'm gonna drag it right on top, right about there, right above the shift column. Doesn't matter exactly where you drag it, but I'm gonna drag it right there, okay? And now we've got a filter for shift equals lunch. Now, if we were looking at the non-respectful filters, they don't care about what filters are in the filter context because they're non-respectful. By contrast, this is one of our respectful derivations, right? So we're going to, uh, these are going to respect what filters are in the filter context. So to simulate that, to simulate how the data model looks to the values function, we're gonna go ahead and filter this down to just lunch. So let's click on there and uncheck dinner. So we're just looking at lunch. Okay, so our derivation though, is the values of the price per column. Now, if you look at the price per column, right? Uh, there are one, two, three, four numbers in there, but two of them are duplicates. We've only got a seven and a nine. So what we're going for is a single column table that has both seven and nine, the two distinct values in the price per column based on the current filters, okay? So uh, to make that happen, to simulate it here in Excel, go ahead and select those cells, not the entire table, just the ones in the price per column, and make sure you get the header along with it, right? So if you try and do this trick by clicking on that little downward arrow, it'll select the cells. We want the header two, so select all those cells. Control C to copy, right? Click under the O and R's. Control Alt V to pay special. Click on values and number formats, or just hit the U button and hit OK, okay? And now we've got uh, the values of that column, but we need to make them the distinct values of that column. And to do that in Excel, to simulate the process that DAX uses, we're gonna use DAX's, or we're gonna use Excel's remove duplicates. So we're gonna head up here to data, and we're gonna go find remove duplicates and click on it. Uh, it's gonna say, does your data have headers? Uh, now, right now I noticed that price per is not selected. So I'm gonna make sure that that is checked because I only wanna remove the duplicates from there. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And when I'm all done, I get that temp table right there, which is what I want. The formatting is a little off the very bottom, but I think you get the idea, okay? So we've got the non-duplicate values of the price per column. So this price per column's got seven and nine, then seven and nine repeated. So we just wanna keep the non-duplicate uh, values. Okay, let's revise the filters and do this again. So now I'm gonna change this from, uh, from shift equals lunch to shift equals dinner. I'm gonna revise the filter by adding this. Notice we already have a filter for shift. So this revision will replace the existing filter. So go ahead and drag this up, drop it right there. When it says, are you sure? Go ahead and hit okay. And so now uh, to simulate how this physical table looks to our respectful derivations, we're gonna change the filter from lunch to dinner and hit okay. So now we're just looking at the dinner rows, right? <clears throat> so now when we ask for the values of price per, uh, before we just had uh, seven and nine, now we've got nine, 11, and seven. Hey, these are distinct. So let's go ahead and select these, select those. Make sure you get the header as well. Control C to copy. Click under the O in hours. Do Control Alt V to pay special. Click on values and number format, right? Go ahead, hit okay. And now uh, I could see that there aren't any duplicates, but just to sort of simulate how DAX does things, we're gonna make sure that we remove any duplicates in case uh, we're, we're not doing this properly. So we're gonna head up here to data and we're gonna click on remove duplicates. And even though it won't do anything, we're gonna go ahead and hit okay, just to make sure. Okay, no duplicate values were found. Super cool. Now let's revise the filters again. This time we're gonna add a filter for dish equals burger or salad. We don't currently have a filter for dish, so this won't replace any existing filters. We'll just add a new one. So go ahead, select these, and drag that right above dish. Line it up if you can, if you want to, don't have to, and let go. And so this, since this is a respectful derivation, we want to simulate 
how the mini table looks to this respectful derivation. So we want to filter down to just burger and salad. So we're going to click on this dish and we're going to uncheck uh, pasta, no pasta, just burger and salad. Okay. So with that in mind, now our price per column only has these values. And since we're using this values def uh, derivation, let's go ahead and select those. Control C to copy, click under the O in hours, Control Alt V to paste, click on values and number formatting, or just hit the U and hit OK. All right. Now I can see that there aren't any duplicates, but just to double, double make sure, let's head up here to data, click on remove duplicates and hit OK. And it will say no duplicates found, OK? And if we were to derive, uh, to use this derivation, right, go get all the distinct values of the price per column in the mini table, given these filters, we would get that temp table right there. Okay, let's revise the filters yet again. This time we're gonna add a filter for shift equals lunch or dinner. Well, we already have a filter for shift equals dinner, so this will replace that existing filter. So select those cells right there. Click and drag and drop it right on top of the old filter. It says, hey, there's already a filter there. Do you wanna replace it? We're gonna say, we sure do. Okay, and since we're about to derive, uh, we're about to use this derivation right here, the values derivation, which is respectful, we want to change the way the mini table looks to those respectful derivations. So before we were just looking at dinner, now we're looking at lunch and dinner. So click on this filter for shift and go ahead and add both of them. And so now that's what's visible. So now we want to get the distinct values of the price per column. So let's select those cells right there. Control C to copy. Click under the O in hours. Control Alt V to paste. Click on values and number formats. Hit OK. And I can already see, hey, there's a bunch of duplicates in there. Good. Let's go ahead and get rid of those duplicates by going up to data, clicking on remove duplicates, and hitting OK. Okay. And so all those duplicate nines are gone. And now we just have 9 and 11, which are all the distinct visible values of the price per column, 9 and 11. Cool. Let's revise the filters yet one more time. So this time we're going to add a filter for units equals one. There's no current filter for units, so we're not going to replace anything. Go ahead, select those. Move your cursor till you get sort of the, the multi arrows right there, the compass arrows, and drag this. And I can't put it right there, which I'd like to do to line it up, and I could, but I'm going to put it right over here. That way the tables aren't sitting right next to each other. I'm going to go ahead and drop it, okay? And so now uh, we're filtering to just units equals one. Since we're talking about respectful derivations, Let's go ahead and filter this down so that the data model looks the way it does to those derivations. So not two or three units, we don't care about those transactions, just the transactions where there was one unit sold. Go ahead, click OK, which is those two rows right there. Okay, so what's our derivation? Go get all the visible distinct values of the price per column in the mini table, right? That's the values function. So let's uh, select these cells right there, the price per column, that's the one we're asking for. Control C to copy. Click under the O in hours. Control Alt V to pay special. Click on values and number formats. Click OK. And even though there aren't any duplicates, just to be doubly sure, I'm going to go up here to data and do remove duplicates, right? Because that's sort of what DAX does, sort of. All right. So now uh, we're going to revise the filters one more time. OK. And uh, we're going to add a filter for units equals one, two, or three, and a filter for dish equals burger or pasta. So let's start by revising this one. We've already got a filter for units, so this will replace the existing filter. So we're going to drag that up there, drop it right on top of the old one, hit OK, and we'll do the same thing for this filter right here, dish equals burger or pasta. We already have a filter for dish. This will replace the existing filter. So go ahead and move your uh, cursor right to the top of those cells. So you get those compass arrows and drag it, drag it right on top of the old filter. It says, do you want to replace it? We're going to say, okay. Okay. And now since we're talking about respectful uh, derivations, let's go ahead and uh, change these filters down here. So let's click on this one. So rather than looking at burger and salad, we're now looking at burger and pasta. So turn pasta back on and turn salad off. And importantly, before we were just looking at one units, now we're looking at uh, transactions that had one, two, or three units. So click on that and select both two and three. And now those are the visible rows in the current filter context. So we scroll down a little bit, and now we want to get all the distinct values of the price per column in the mini table. Okay, that's the derivation we're going to use. So let's select these cells right there. Control C to copy. Click under the O in hours. Control-Alt-V to paste special. 
click on values and number formatting, click OK, and we can see there's a bunch of duplicates in there, so let's get rid of those duplicates. Head up here to data, click remove duplicates, and hit OK. All right, so now uh, we just get seven and nine. So even though there's a whole bunch of numbers in there, the distinct ones are just seven and nine. Cool. Okay, so uh, for the rest of, for the previous examples on this tab, we've just been looking at the price per column. Uh, you could do this to any column. So let's just look at a couple examples of that. Let's say that we're looking at the shift column in the mini table, right? Well, let's go grab all the values of shift. So select those right there. Control C. Now these are just the ones that are visible in the current filter context because the values derivation is a respectful derivation. It respects the filters. So Control C. Click right there. Control Alt V to pay special. Click on values and number formats. Click OK. And I can see there's a bunch of duplicates in there. So I'm gonna to go to data and remove duplicates. Okay. And now we get lunch and dinner, which are just the unique values, the non-duplicate values. Okay, so let's look at a dish, right? So we're gonna take all the distinct values of that are visible of the dish column in the mini table. This is a respectful derivation. So I'm gonna select those cells right there. Control C to copy. Oops, that didn't work. Control C to copy, click under the O in hours, Control Alt V to paste special, click on values and number formats, click OK, right? But values keeps only the distinct values, so we gotta get rid of those duplicates. So we head up to data, remove duplicates, hit OK, and we get pasta and burger. So we didn't sell any salads if we're just looking at uh, these rows right here, okay? So, <clears throat> Let's go do this same thing for the units column. I think you see where this is going. It's good practice though. Select units, oops. Select those cells right there. Control C to copy. Click under the O and hours. Control Alt V to pay special. Click on values and number formats or just hit the U button to have it selected for you. Hit okay. And I can see there's several duplicates in there. So let's get rid of those duplicates by going to data. Remove duplicates and hit OK. So that is the temp table that that derivation would produce given these filters. All right, uh, one last one. Now we're going to do the cost per. OK, so let's select all those cells right there. We want all the visible distinct values in the cost per column in the mini table given the current filter context because the values is a respectful derivation. So we've got those cells selected right there. Select them again if you didn't get it before. Control C to copy. Click under the O in hours. Control Alt V to pay special. Click on values and number formats. Click OK. And it looks like there's probably a couple duplicates in there. My eyes aren't very good though. Let's see if there's any duplicates. Actually, I can see it right now. The correct version has fewer rows. There are definitely duplicates. Let's get rid of them. Let's head over here to data. Click on remove duplicates and hit OK, right? And if we used this derivation under this filter context, this is the temp table that we would produce. We could then pass it into an iterator to figure out the max or the min, or we could pass it into a filter revisor to add this to the filter context. Okay, I hope that was helpful. I'll see you next video.